Is this the closest thing you can get to an iMac on the Windows side? I think so. But it's got one cool feature for Mac users. If you can get it to work, the jury's still out. Let me explain. All right, welcome back to the video. So these are the kind of videos I take a chance on because a lot of people just love to beat me up over these because they're like, this is crazy idea. This is just about fun, right? I want to show people what's available out there. This may not be right for you. iMac, I know, I mean, I'm an Apple user. I love iMac. So if you like iMac, buy an iMac. That's, let me just get that out of the way, right? There's a new computer out. It's not actually that new, believe it or not, but I actually did a video a while ago um, and it was a Huawei Mate View. It was a monitor you could buy basically and it was good for the Mac supposedly. It has a weird aspect ratio, but it's 4K. I also did the Samsung, um, what is it? The M8, I believe, and I'll put a link over here or something like that just so you guys can see the video, what it looks like. Search for that on my channel. So anyways, those are, those are monitors and they were about six, seven, 800 bucks, somewhere in there versus saying like, you know, do you need to get an Apple display or the studio display? These are a lot, these aren't the exact same quality, but maybe you can replace them with these. They look nice, they're elegant. So we went through that whole thing there and uh, you know, that, that was a video before. But now there's an actually an all-in-one by Huawei again. And before everyone gets after me, these are difficult to find in the United States, number one. And I understand that for sure. So the issue with this one is gonna be, plus people are saying they steal your data, whatever. I mean, a lot of things are made in China. You have to do your own due, you know, due diligence with this. This is just for fun and you know, just to give you guys the idea of what, what's out there. So what I did though is I first went over and I actually found this device that I'm gonna explain here and I'll get into it, but I found it on eBay. So you can find it on eBay if you live in America. It, it's not just for like England and you know, overseas you can buy this. Here it's difficult in the United States, but you can get it on eBay. So long story short, Huawei, uh, Huawei just came out with the Mate Station, or didn't just, but they have the Mate Station X. And what this is basically is it's the exact same Mate Station monitor more or less with a built-in computer, Windows computer, Windows 11 computer. So let me just get into the specs. It's 28.2 inches, it's uh, 164 PPI, 3840 by 2560. They call that you know 4K plus because it's got a different aspect ratio. It is a, what is it, a three to two aspect ratio. P3 color gamut on this monitor, and it's got 10-point touch screen, which is interesting. So you think about that for a second. And the 92% screen to body ratio, four to 500 nits, perfect, right? 1200 into one contrast ratio, and then full speakers and quad mic. So that's the, that's the actual monitor, but there's a built-in computer on this as well. So, you know, I'm gonna share my screen here throughout this video, and I'm just gonna show you a couple things really quickly. Um, so, you know, just take a look at some of the pictures of this. It looks just like the monitor. You can see it here. It looks very similar. It's called the Huawei Mate Station X, and it comes actually with a Ryzen chip built into it. So it's gonna have a Ryzen chip and a whole bunch of other features, which I'll get into in a second. I'll give you the full specs. So I'm just kind of showing you some pictures here, you know, obviously of what it's gonna look like. Again, you can't really, from the front of it, it doesn't look any different than the monitor, but it has a computer built in between the stand and the monitor. This stand can adjust both up and down sideways. And uh, now, the hidden feature that we wanna talk about later in, in a second is gonna be, does this work on a Mac? Can you plug a Mac into this? So think about this. If you had this as your Windows computer, and you could still use it as a 4K plus monitor, which is a very you know, elegant looking monitor. It almost looks like you know, a Mac monitor. Could you use this as your external monitor for a MacBook? And I have kind of two different people saying two different things here, um, although they both say they should work. So that's key interesting with this device. Uh, but you can see the design of it and all that. It's very beautiful and it's got the built-in computer. So I basically went out to eBay just to verify. So can you buy this in the United States if you're watching this? Well, again, I went to, let me see here, eBay and I could find it. It's, it's basically the, the, the dumbed down version, which I'll get into in a second, is about 1,950 bucks. So it's expensive, right? But you are getting a full Ryzen, either five or Ryzen seven computer built into it, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD. And all that stuff's built into this monitor, which should be able, to, hopefully, to be able to use as an external monitor for your MacBook. So this could be the best of both worlds where you actually plug your MacBook into this, use it for that, and then if you need a Windows computer, you use this. And that maybe justifies the cost there, even though it's still probably a little bit high. Again, it's not for everyone. It's just some, you know, if you want the cutting edge and you want stuff like that, this may be a good option. All right, I'm gonna share my screen again here. This is from ZDNet, and you can get some other, you know, a bunch of other examples out on YouTube and stuff. So here is basically saying it's an all-in-one, it's a touch screen, and it says the same thing that I said before. They rate it as an 8.2 right here. You can see it here, 8.2, so it's got a high rating from ZDNet, which is good. 
Design is elegant. This is probably the best picture. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it's basically gonna be the side profile. In the middle is gonna be the computer. You can see kind of that middle area there. And that's actually where the computer is. On the monitor, that doesn't exist. It's just the stand in the monitor. The monitor's a lot thinner. So that's where the computer is. And you basically get that built in. So they just kind of slapped it on the monitor, but you can't really see it from the front. And as we go down the specs of this, it's Windows 11 Home. You get the, you know, like I said, the 28.2 inch screen, 4K plus, which is great. 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes NVMe, so that's great. And then you also get the choice between the Ryzen 7 5800, and I think it's a Ryzen, let me see here, Ryzen 5 5600. So there's two differences, and the 5600 is the one that's got the lower cost, obviously. It's the lower CPU. Comes with a whole bunch of different ports, you know, two USB charging, display port 2.1, and it says 2.2 uh, USB A's, audio jacks, microphone jack, things like that. So 720p webcam, it's got multi speaker system, and then finally it's got that multi pickup microphone as well. So you get all this stuff with the monitor, 60 hertz it says, and you get all this stuff going on. Now, the caveat for, for my channel is Mac users. Again, this might be a perfect monitor if you're gonna have a Mac. And then you're also gonna have something, you know, you have a black, like this computer here, this, this laptop, and I wanna connect to an external monitor. But I need a Windows computer for work, maybe. Maybe I buy the Mate View, or I guess, actually, it's not the Mate View, it's called the, let me see here. <laughs> it's called the, uh, it's a little bit different, the Mate Station X, I'm sorry. So maybe I buy the Mate Station X here, and, uh, and then basically go ahead and plug in my MacBook to it, right? Well, I went ahead and did some research, and there's a couple channels on this. One channel I found over here, this is actually, let me see, Tech Tablet. So it's a channel I'm not too familiar with, but they do have 430,000 subscribers. So I'm guessing this guy knows what he's talking about. And as I kind of went down the comments, you know, there's a couple different things here. One guy asks, can I use this monitor from DisplayPort and use the monitor for a Mac? And I think, you know, it's basically got a display. So basically, long story short, he wants to know if he can use it for a Mac. The guy from Tech Tablet says, Hi, only the USB, I'm sorry, sorry only Type-C display, which is normally display port, but actually DP to HDMI, it does not support, which is a real shame. But I've still been running my MacBook 16 M1 Pro tablet and even a phone by just having a Thunderbolt type to type cable. And then he's got more information on it. So, you know, he basically goes to a Twitter account and uh, I'll have a link to that in the description. But in the description, it shows you that he's got it to work with his you know, MacBook and stuff. He's proven that it works. He says, but only a Type-C to Type-C monitor. That's what he's saying. So any other conversion it may not work for you. And that may be what this other guy's having a problem with, which I'll show you. But supposedly this could work for a MacBook as an external monitor. And then the PC would be separate, which is great. All right. So as I go down, TechChap. It's another YouTube channel, a great YouTube channel, very big YouTube channel. He's saying it should work as well, but he has not got, you know, this is the, at the time of the video, he was not able to actually get it to work yet. So he may need to see this, this other guy, and this other guy supposedly figured it out, but that's the real question. Um, you know, is this something that is gonna work on a Mac as an external monitor? Then you don't have to buy maybe the Apple display. You get, then you get this Ryzen computer that you can do, you know, maybe even like gaming on, maybe not. Um, but then you can also get your Mac hooked into that and you have that 4K plus display with the 3-2 aspect ratio. Is it a good deal? You tell me. So tell me what you think out there. I mean, this is something that I think is not for everyone. It's just something I wanted to show people to have some fun with and enjoy life and just see, you know, hey, it's out there. It's not for you. I don't trust Huawei, whatever. I, I'm not affiliated with them in any way or form. And, uh, you know, again, I don't know if I would buy one, but at the end of the day, I always say, like, you know, it's good to know what options are, and this is one of them out there. So I hope you guys like these videos. Again, I'm not all about reviews and stuff. I like to find a little bit different stuff, a little bit different niche that's not always the most common video, and sometimes it may not be the best. Sometimes it, you know, who knows, but I'm just going to put it out there. Some people like it. If you don't, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just don't, you know, don't go after me. That's all I ask. You know, it's just a fun video. So we'll talk to everybody soon. I hope everyone enjoys, you know, hopefully the uh, next couple of weeks in this kind of spring season, at least where we are. Talk to you soon. Peace.